Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Solo. Uh, last time we ended on a bit of a low ebb because we tried to take out this adventuring party in the sewers. We tried for a good 15-20 minutes, had a couple of attempts and didn't quite manage it. We're not quite there so I think the best thing for us to do is to just continue on our way um, and head back up to the Docks District and continue working for Mavar, trying to infiltrate his guild so that we can expose him to Reno Bud Scalp. And that is precisely what we will do. This Unseeing Eye quest can wait until uh, much later. Kind of want the Shield of Baldurand for that, and that is expensive. That's normally one of the uh, less. Uh, the, 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 the last. last word I was looking for. last um, quest I do in Athkatla. And I know I could possibly do it without the helm, uh, the shield of Baldoran. Very well. I wouldn't like to try. <laughs> Honestly. All right. Let us travel to see Mavar. There's a little shortcut to Mavar down here, actually. Which I think we should take. In there leads straight to his little abode, which may well be quicker. I don't tend to loot this place until we actually return there to confront Mavar about his. Uh, Suppose it's treachery. Spoiler warning. Um, so that's why I didn't really go in there and loot stuff before. I know there's things in there, but for now we're quite happy with what we've got. The next thing we're sort of looking at is the robe of Enko, which I should be able to get after this quest line. And then I should be able to take out that party in the sewers. But, um, so here we have a vampire talking to these shadow thieves, trying to... Um, perhaps coerce them in some way, it looks like. Just having a little chat here. There you go, and then we are attacked by these guys. And there's another one up there. Suddenly we're attacked by thugs and shadow thieves, which isn't brilliant. Um, I'm going to see if we can cast that. Okay, that's going to help. Oh, and of course, now we get the cow wizards after us. Because I kind of momentarily forgot about that. Can't re uh, reload that until I really need it. But yes, we're not allowed to cast magic in Athpath. I completely forgot about that. It's going to cost us a bit of money to fix. But um, yes, magic is banned. So we get a warning. And then if we cast it again, then we are in trouble and they will attack us. Thief spells do not work with that because they are divine rather than arcane. But that's um, doesn't really affect us because we're not, we're not a priest, we're not a cleric. Okay, we're getting there. No one crosses the I get the feeling that just out of this line of sight, there's a few more uh, thugs because these thugs come in packs of about four or six. There's only been two, and they wandered from down here, so maybe they were attacking me before I even got here. And I thought I would have noticed. Well, these guys do have some things on them. A fine familiar scroll, which we do not need at all. But as there's a store just in here, um, we shall take what we can. There is this. A... Disintegrate spell, which again I think I will uh, sell along with these two. What's this one? Minor spell turning could be useful. It's level five, so it's unlikely I'm going to cast it anytime soon. Um, but level five is quite low on spells, so apart from breach, there's not a lot in it that's any good. Uh, there's a little note for anyone who's interested. Um, apart from maybe, there's, they have stuff like um, law resistance, and I'm sure some things that I've forgotten about. Sun, uh, I think it's sun fire or something like that. Some sort of spell that I completely ignore normally might be quite useful in a solo run, but I've forgotten what it is. Yeah, it's just heading here and sell the stuff we just got. Whatever. To who is this guy? Welcome to my humble Gorge. Eh, it's Gorge. Let me see what you have available. And I wish to sell this stuff. 
and this. Uh, no, not that. Disintegrate and find familiar because it's useless since we already have a familiar. His name is. You know, Bartholomew! Bartholomew! Say hi, Bartholomew. Hello, Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Meow, meow. Yeah, anyway. So we'll give this um, amulet to him. Hi. What is it? So, yeah. We get some experience and we lose the item, and then he tells us to go and talk to a mage upstairs. His name is Edwin. Hmm, where have we heard that name before? Yes, Edwin is an NPC that you can hire into your party if we were so inclined to do so, which we are not. Edwin is awesome. Not only the fact that he is uh, of course. best mage in the game, but he. Uh, oh, actually, let's close that for the fight later on. But also. Uh, the fact that he's just funny as hell and is very entertaining. There's actually an extremely good Edwin romance if mod, obviously for female characters, which, of course, Ayanna would be eligible to do, but uh, no. she uh, she likes her independence as Ayanna, and so we will not be romancing Edwin. Plus, this is an unmodded playthrough, save for the nice widescreen mod that I have on right now, as we all know, because it's in the description. Right. Hi, Edwin. Greetings. I am Edwin Odesseron. You simians may refer to me merely as Sir, if you prefer a less syllable-intensive workout. Um, you should be dead. He is going to send us on a mission to see. Um, yeah, as far as I'm going to be with the eye of a cowled wizards. So he wants us to go and dispatch this cowled wizard. We're going to go and do that for him. And uh, then report back once it is done. Now this is a reasonably difficult little quest. But I think we can do it. His store is now open, so we have access to his building. His door expl explicitly itself opens when this quest begins. But yes, I think we can do this. We should be able to. Hmm. Now, through this door, there are lots of mephits, and most of them use fire damage, so we're going to take these potions of ice dust with us, but also... Actually, I'm going to drink this as well, just to get rid of it, and also because there's some golems in there as well, and if we hit him most more, it'll be helpful. But yeah, um, they'll be immune to, to fire, so there's two plus two points of fire won't matter, but it still does more damage. Um, so I think we're going to use the axe regardless. This is quicker though. But no, I think we're going to stick with the axe. So we're going to save it, because that's important. I'm going to drink this, and then, oh, on me. And as soon as it works, we're going to go! Thankfully that didn't, cast, that didn't count as a spell, because sometimes it's weird and sometimes they do. So most of our spells are fire-based, fireball and such, so we're just going to go in there and because look at this f yeah see that would really hurt normally there's some there's some um, ice damage in there as well put the one on us just in case still still at sort of pretty low health it's all good we're whittling them down I'll have a healing potion strength potion is helping but the strength portion is mostly for the next floor. Which I might be able to just sneak through. There's steam in the background. I'm sure I said that's busy. And I don't believe there's any... We don't have to worry about this running out. It should last ages. Oh, there is. Shows what I know. Shows what I know. Don't it. So we're going to Protection Scroll and Clairvoyance. Now, Clairvoyance isn't a very good spell, but we're going to learn it anyway. Mostly because Clairvoyance shows us an area of the map, but I have, like, everything memorized. And here we have Protection from Magical Energy, which... Mm, I can't see my... Well, but this horrid wilting... I can only, I can see one point there that this might be pretty good. 
at least. Um, but I'm going to sell that as well. Because I really want the robe of Vecna. Did I say Venka earlier? Probably going to annoy someone. Um, okay, we don't, we don't have any other buffs, do we? We have this. So I'm going to put it in my backpack for now. I'll probably just drop this. Oh no, because he does have a fire attack. The mage, that is. Hmm, this is probably going to be quite a tough fight Tell up here. It. It'll take a bit of a beating. Maybe we should have healed before I went up there. Or oh, cast that. Oh well, we'll see how we do. Charge! <laughs> uh, we slowed. We did. Did that. Uh, I'll try and save us. Also, we just paste on ourselves with the. Oh no, we're dead. We're dead. Run away! Run away! Oh, I bet they're gonna. F I bet they. Ah, yes. They could have followed us downstairs. We could potentially sneak past these guys or backstab them. Let's try backstabbing. That's probably a good idea, a better idea than just charging in there and uh, dying horribly. Nothing to it. Could also potentially use the oil of speed, though I think it would be use, uh, useless against these guys since they slow, which could possibly just slow me down to normal speed, and therefore it might be worth it. Well. Very well. Oh, they know something's up, don't they? See, I could just skip them. Did that. Uh. Hit him again. Hit him again. Okay. Only one of them. Maybe we can deal with one of them. Maybe not. Do I have any of these? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it, though. I don't... No, run. Okay. Now then. I think I will make good my escape. Heal up. Using potions. And then go back and backstab him. Because I want, I want to approach this like as uh, genuinely as possible. I want to get past all the enemies. I mean, I, I could probably skip a whole load of them by just sneaking past. But that does get rid of a load of these. No, you know, we've got a lot of them, so... Uh, I've got to manage my inventory as well. There's no mm. point having healing potions if I don't use them. I have hidden myself well. I'm going to go up here again. I'm going to save it again. Whatever. Now then, maybe we can get this guy out with one if hit. So. When he stops running around like a mad lunatic. Like a headless chicken. Like a stone golem. That's even less damage than before. Disappointing. But we should be able to take him now. You'd have thought. There we go. So. Um, oh, and there's some gold up here. Waste not, want not. So. This guy is going to be a bit of a challenge. Honestly, he's going to be quite tough. I don't think Stoneskin's going to do a lot of good. This could be at some point. Also, resistance from fear would be amazing. But I haven't got it memorised. You know what, since we've come across that so much, I am going to memorize it now. But I'm not going to rest. Which means that this fight could be quite difficult. So, yeah, it's going to cast Power Word Fear on us. Which is going to be awful to deal with. So who's that? I'm going to end your life, Cald Wizard. He's going to do a lot of stuff. Uh, he's going to hide before anything else, so I'm not going to cast anything until he does that. Oh, that didn't work! Save versus spell. He may be casting an offensive spell now. He did, yes, so that did nothing because I was immune to it thanks to that ice dust. Now he's going to hide. He'll come back. And when he does... What's that? Shadow Dot is casting something horrible. Now is the time. No, not for that. I'm waiting. For. Oh, I'm stunned. 
It's not, it's when to cast the breach on him. Once I breach he him, died. start hitting him oh, with my fire axe, he's dead. But yes, it's going to be a death spell. Didn't work. There's still, still some nasty stuff to throw at me, though. I fail one save versus spell. It's not going to do you a lot of good. Disintegrate, save versus spell again. Oh, and we're back. Okay. Let's hope this works. I can't because he's sanctuaried. And I don't have any dispels. What if I can panic him, maybe? Nope. If that's what you want. Can't hit him? What is that? That's an invisible stalker. Oh, but I can hit him through his stone skin. That is critical. Why don't I just do that before? Alright, let's just keep doing that then. Because you won't be able to cast any spells like that. That's really nice. This is why I love the um, fire axe. It goes straight through stone skin. We're now hitting him through more through his stone skin. Now he's dead. Now let's kill that invisible stalker. I got that 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 encounter pretty well down in the order of what happens. Um, you know that, I mean, that was from memory, because uh, I tend to do that pretty early on this fight, and uh, it can be quite a challenge for lower level parties with the uh, nasty spells that he throws at you, such as the power word. You know, he's quite he's quite a hell of a mage, you know. That's what I'm saying. Power word fear and stuff. Uh, I don't think we can identify either of these. We don't know what they are. Even though I do. I put that back in there. It wasn't needed. We shall equip some invisibility potions. And have another one of these. And level up. We leveled up. Oh, I forgot to see what I leveled up in. Uh, we'll fight her. So let's start looking at Katana. Or, we could go down the sword and shield route, since um, we, we're going to use the sword and shield. Except, missile weapons should be dealt with with spells. So, can we go Katana? Because there's a very nice Katana in the game, and it will be a while before I get it. But then again, it will be another while before I get another proficiency slot. So, you all know what I mean. Mostly, anyway. Did I level up in Mage there as well? No. Just in Fighter, I think. Let's check it anyway. because I Oh, no. I did level up in Mage. Got another level 5 spell, which can actually be that. And level 2 spell, which can be another... Actually, yeah. Maybe. No, actually, not yet, because we don't have the Rift Home Axe, or whatever it's called. Invisibility... Hmm. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that. Mm. And we're going to set traps. And find two. Find some useful items. Such as. A nice spell. Which I'll sell. And a wand of fire. Which I will keep. And that will actually free up. This. And. This. Which gives me more spell slots, because that's what that Wand of Fire casts. Whatever you desire. And we completed the mission for Edwin as well, so we can go back there and say, Hi! We completed the mission. Nothing to do it. Is it night time? I might just go down to this fence and send, sell these goods Very well. that I got. This guy only appears at night. There's a guy up there that appears during the day. And you I will be visiting shortly. Hello. Wonders I have seen. Foven. I see the best. So yeah, his events, he's selling stolen goods. We shall see what he's got because we don't care about that. We're going to open the gem bag and sell this ring for three. Hey, it all helps. It all helps. This mislead can go as well. And do I have another one? Protection from magical energy. I thought I did. Sell that. We will identify that and that. And that. Uh, and sell two of them. Those two. Another 1500. So, good. Right then. Let's go back to Edwin. Who we can get to via a... Wait a minute, where am I looking? What am I doing? Don't know what I'm doing. Up here. That way. 
by that door. I shall just mute my microphone while I uh, close the curtains and put a light on because it's uh, it's got dark. I suppose the better option there would have been to stop the recording. Oh well. Hi, Edwin. What would you like? My lackeys return and none too soon. Has the cowled fool been disposed of? Yes, he's pushing up daisies as we speak, Edwin. Good. He gives us another mission. And that's to receive, retrieve some documents from a dude in an inn. Ah, <sighs> We'll go and do that for him. How tough can it be? Answer? Not very tough at all. Right then. Simple enough. He has two other quests and they're both quite easy. Tell me all about well, we have two other quests to complete this thing. First one is to go down here to the sea's bounty. There are three ways to complete this quest. Uh, you can threaten this dude, which I think relies on either your strength or your level. I'm going to try and threaten him anyway. See if I can get him for free. I can buy them off him, or I could snap his neck if I have high agility. There he is. Let's try and threaten him. Hi, Marcus. Hand them over now, or else! He's like, yes, take them, take them, leave me be! But I'm not quite sure what that depends on. Um, Because we do have, like, high strength now. But we're also level 9, 10, and 11. 9, 10, 11. There's a sending order, by the way. That's why I was amused by it. And while we're at it, there's a little pirate den in here. Which I might as well do now. Because I'm thinking I might rest before I go and do the end of this quest. So, I have uh, a chance to use some spells up. Let's go and pay them a visit. I should have done this first. <laughs> I always think of these things later. Uh, right, this on us. So, Pirate Den. They try and kill us. Good. Um. Have a blade with your name on it. All these. They're going to be pointless, but yeah, he's going to just hit us. So the pirate captain's going down. These guys can't hurt us with this miss, with this uh, spell on us. He's uh, beating us up a little bit. But we're beating him up more. And then we can deal with these guys as and when we choose. He's hitting me a lot more than I expected. And now we're getting not hit at all. On top plus one. Okay, let's have some fun with these guys. Let's greater malaise in them. There's a mage up there as well, which I might be able to get him. I did get him as well. And slow them. Hmm. Pirate mage isn't slowed though, he's not there. I'm not really after him though. But if I get him in this, all's the better. And hear you. Using these up so I can basically unmemorize them. There he is. Now he's noticed us. Oh, come on. Now the mage I do not like. He displeases me. We shall kill him. Uh oh, they've run out of missiles. Oh dear. What's he doing? That was domination. I say versus spell. That would have been the end of the game. Cast that. He's got a 50% chance of hitting him. Oh, missed. Hmm. Might have been a bit overconfident coming in here, really. Give me some health back. Should really deal with the mage. Go and get the mage because they're gonna, he's gonna, gonna get, gather stuff. 
Badly injured, badly injured. Near death. This guy is barely injured. We're gonna heal. That would be sensible. Okay, oh god, now there's a spider. Oh dear. Right, we hit him there. He won't take much to get hit to, to, to die once we actually start hitting him. Badly injured. The spider may well poison us. This isn't going particularly well. There, he's dead. Right, now the spider. Spider did poison us indeed. We're going to get this ready. This hasn't particularly been well dealt with. I admit. In fact, we are going to die. Way. Oh, damn, what the hell was that? Oh, never mind. That wasn't especially well done, was it? Bad me. I'm sure we can do that better. By doing this. Because the one that did us in there stands up here. But he stands no longer. Alright, let's cast this. Maybe we won't be able to cast it this time because now we're in everybody's line of sight. No, they're going to cut us to ribbons now. Right, you start using it. Because this should have ten slot... Ten bloody... Um, it doesn't say how many charges. Maybe it's only got the one. Interesting. Scotch on you. Can't be interrupted. Good. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Injured. Near death. Injured. Near death. Die. One less. Heal. Heal, I say. Oh, let's have this one as well, yeah. Not doing much damage to us, but it's doing it. It's happening frequently. We would like to get rid of this pirate captain. Save versus spell. Damn you. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. There's nothing to worry about. There's everything to worry about. Oh, this time, this time. I'm re re reloading the same fight over and over again again, which is not not good. This time we're going to do a little more preparation. Uh -huh. I'm not using all my abilities either, like the um, uh, charm person and such. One may wonder how I can hide in shadows with a great big uh, purple genitalis cube thing. Or tube. Surrounding me. And now I miss. And now I miss. Wow. I'm. I'm dominated. Alright, if I didn't miss there, if I didn't roll a critical bloody miss, then... I mean, this should be like a simple fight. This should be a really simple, straightforward, easy fight. I'm very disappointed with your performance, Ayana, especially since you have strength 20. Now, I could buff up even more with Draw Upon Holy Maya. I just realized that as I walked in. But now I'm in here. Now we're going to do this. We're going to do it right. Thanks very much. Now we're gonna cast that on him. Hey, yeah. And uh, I didn't do anything. Save versus spell. Um, mm, I think just damage. If it works, no. All right, technically that shouldn't have gone off, but it did, so I'm not gonna mind. Because he did hit me there. Stop hitting me so much and we should be okay. Should be alright this time. 
The mage is dead. There we go. Now. That was okay. Badly injured. Badly injured. Uh, we'll do a... Miss, miss on you. We shall do a melt on you. Now! <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so impatient. Then we'll kill you. Near death. Badly hurt. Barely hurt. Alright, we'll get rid of the near death one first. Less attacks going our way. But yeah, we should be fine now. So sorry that took so long because, I mean, there's not a lot here. There's a, there's a plus one longsword and a bunch of uh, gems. But yeah, I mean, that, that should have been should have been much easier. But it wasn't. I think because I underestimated this mage up here. Never underestimate a mage. Ever. Ever. Yay. Nice little stash, that. So we will probably rest after we have done these next two missions, because they're not too tough. Whatever you want. I say, we do have to fight someone, and I've already wrecked myself. If you say so. Don't really have that much uh, left. You know, those pirates, as I said, were a lot tougher than I expected them to be. There's just bodies everywhere now. Slaughtered the entire town. Okay, not the entire town. That would be a little bit of an exaggeration. Calm down, Ayana. Anyway, we've got his of documents. Course. Huzzah! Do you have the documents I asked for? Just said this I did. matter is more important than your average simple correspondence. Yes, there's your documents. So a simple fetch quest, but we did it. And, um... There we go. It's Edwin. So, we have to go and see Meva. And see Meva we shall. If that's what you want. Don't like opening too many of these doors because it makes the fight when you walk in here again a little easier. This is going to be quite tough. Thinking about it. We might have to invest in another Let's spell. Edwin has been telling me you are, at the very least, competent. Fairly good at the sneaksman's trade, but a little ham-fisted when you fight. Exactly what I'm looking for. He wants us to go and find a traitor. And kill him. So, in fact, we don't have to kill this traitor at all. Uh, he wants us to bring uh, the dagger back as proof of the kill. We shall say we will do this. And he tells us that he's at the sea's bounty. So we shall go... Now, I could put a load of traps in here, but I won't. I mean, it would sort of vaguely fit character if I did, because I know that I'm supposed to be, well, investigating him and possibly, you know, getting into conflict with the guy. But it's tentative as best, at best, and uh, I think he might notice me setting a trap at his feet. So I'm not going to... I am not going to... So we shall go in here, we shall speak to this person. What would you like? Embal, I believe his name is. I must flee! Yep. So he's going to say it's a misunderstanding. We can ask him lots of questions here. He'll say it's a misunderstanding. We can ask to talk to uh, Raynal. He will say no. So say, do you have any proof? He will say no. So he could be a traitor. Um, but I have no desire to kill you. Give me your dagger. Now again, I'm not really role-playing this because I just I just killed the cowled wizard. Um, but this guy I'm just letting go. Why? Because I'm not role-playing. I'm just playing the game in a semi-efficient way. I say semi, as in it's not very. But yeah, let's say it was fighting him, basically. And if we fought him, he'd probably kick our asses. So, um, now we'll head back to Mavar. Like straight away, it's like we didn't even. Tell me all about. It was, it was. It took as long to have a conversation with him as it would to kill him. Did to kill him. Well, I suppose we could have backstabbed him. You can backstab him, of course, and kill him and explode him into a million little bits. And the peop patronage, patrons, at the inn, 
pay you no heed whatsoever. As if it's just a common occurrence. They're all like, you know, New Yorkers being like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever. I'm an ass Catelyn. Nothing bothers me. Even like an exploding guy with a knife in his back. The traitor is dead, I trust. Oh, yes, you have his dagger. Despite your useless appearance, you have done well. So he sends us away um, to maybe get um, a, a task from Edwin. We're going to ask reward. Yes, he yes, will yes. give us nothing. Truth be known, I'm not listening to you. Yeah. So he didn't give us a reward, and uh, he tells us to go and talk to Edwin for something to do. Let's go and do that. This effect lasts a long time. Very well. I like it. May well be pretty useful. Uh, not in this particular fight coming up. Whatever you want. But later. Several opportunities. So yeah, that's why I'm not taking the sword and shield style because this spell should uh, suffice as uh, a replacement for that. If you say so. Well, you have surpassed the exceedingly low expectations I have of you. You now have the trust of Mavar securely in hand and have proven your competence to me once more. Though just barely. Oh, that is good. Then he will basically accuse us that we are, uh, you know, dispensing with false, false pretenses. He pretty much guesses what we're up to here. And, uh... Say, we will admit that we are here to spy upon Mavar, ask what he wants, and uh, he actually says that he wants to join us. Well, eventually, anyway. As he is an NPC. He, go, he tells us where the proof is as well, and then asks, do you want me to come with you? We will say no. So we'll go to the Copper Coronet, and he will stay there for the rest of the game. He gives us the key to Mavar's safe or storage box, or whatever it is. Let's go and have a look. And in it, there is some boots and a note. Let's go back to Raynal because we have completed the mission. And the spell finally wore off. It's good because the ambient noise that it supplied was getting rather irritating. Um, we have also healed up, which I approve of. Should we rest before we uh, no? Because I am looking for another spell now. I'm looking for a dispel illusion. Now she might have it in here. Well, I think I may just have to go and get to the adventurers' mart and get there or all the promenade wherever. But we'll turn this quest in now and then accept this quest to go and kill Mavar. And uh, then have a rest after we've got the spell. Hi. Yes, I'm still here. So, he says well done. And he asks us to go and kill Mavar for him. Only the last part of our deal remains to be carried out. Go and eliminate Mavar then. Full authority. We can refuse, but we're not going to because he has some nice loot on him that we want to uh, take. And, uh, yeah, we never liked him anyway. So we're going to kill him. Because we kill people we don't like. That's what we do. But. Nothing to it. See if she has detect illusion. Would a thief Excellent. guild have detect Day. illusion? Would well, she even have right. um, spell scrolls? She doesn't have the one I want, does she? Inconvenient. Oh, she does. Detect invisibility. That's the one I want. Let's get it twice. Oh. And I'm getting it twice purely because I'm going to memorize it a couple times, but if I get it again, I will be able to cast it from the scroll. And it gives me two chances to... Spells are ready in my spellbook. Is it really? I didn't know that. Maybe that was something I should have checked before I actually identified it. Do I know what that longsword plus one is? I do! It's a longsword plus one. Like, that saves me a hundred gold. Because we're going to sell this stuff to her. Anything in there? No. Anything in here? Nope. 
That'll probably be empty after this fight. Longsword, pearl. Oh, and the boots, which I might wear. So I don't think they're worth that much. 450. And they give us... Run silently. Move silently and hide in shadows. Bonuses. Just to uh, help us a little bit with that. So we'll wear them for now. And uh, maybe wearing white wouldn't, you know, isn't the best idea either for that. And this big clunky helmet with the horn sticking out the sides. But that's not the point. And we can drop this mailbox, Mayvar's strongbox key now. Mm, so we have that. So let's memory just do our spells now while I remember. So we want rid of that and that. Um, I don't think we need that this fight, to be honest. So we can have two of those. Uh, we don't need that. And I've already got a scroll of that. Oh yes. Maybe. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Or dispel magic. Dispel magic is probably quite nice to have, actually. I'm getting that next, though. I don't think we're going to come across any mages of all, at all, really, but I'm, I'm loath to get rid of this breach in case I forget to relearn it last time. We can get, we can get away with not having minor spell turning, but, you know, in, in domination instead, because I can combine that with Greater Malazon. Hmm. Hopefully. All right, then. Um, but I've noticed that, um, like, normally... I would have two mages in 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 a in a, uh, in a party. One would cast Greater Malaise on, and then one would cast Mental Domination. But oh, domination. But with the being just me, I'm finding it hard to find the time to cast that and cast that uh, before they're on me. Even with buffs like Stone Skin, for example. I'm waiting. But very well. It should be fine. So how many? Got two there, and I've got two in scroll form. And I have how much monies do I have? How much monies? Oh, almost ten grand. Once we kill Mayval, we'll be able to fall the robe of Vecna, and then we'll be invincible. What would invincible, mean? probably. Though uh, there may well be another cutscene soon, like when we rest. And we'll rest soon. My strength portion ran out, but that's fine. I'm probably doing another one when we go into Mayvaz Guild. It's a cold and dreary day when the dumb come extend a bit of hospitality to his guests. Come, enter and be welcome at the sea's bounty. So a few drinks. Let's have some Evermead. Splash out. Oh, there's a rival guild to the Shadow uh, Thieves. I just felt like that. She didn't. She earned that. She earned it. Life is strength. This is not to be contested. It seems logical enough. You live, you affect your world. But is it what you need? You are different inside. This woman lives and has strength of a sort. She lost her parents to plague, her husband to war, but she persevered. Her farm has prospered, her name is respected, and her children are fed and safe. She lived as she thought she should. And now she is dead. Her land will be divided, her children will move on, and she will be forgotten. She lived a good life, but she had no power. She was a slave to death. I wonder if you are destined to be forgotten. Will your life fade in the shadow of greater beings? You are born of murder, the very essence of that which takes life. You have power if you wish it. Yes, understand what is available to you. In Kurtus, Fulcur, Imperium.
When the opportunity comes, accept the gifts offered to you. Follow. Our meeting is inevitable. I just picked that choice because the animation and stuff was cooler. Pretty much. Right then. It is uh, hour 12 on the 12th day. Let's go and kill us some... Very well. I was going to say shadow thieves, but they're not. But yeah, some thieves. Let's start at the top. We could just go in the bottom. But no, let's start at the top and work our way down. It's like the raid, but in reverse. So no need to buff yet, because on this floor there is... Mm, nothing! Whatever you want. I think there's some traps. Pretty much. Oops. Yeah, if you say so. Pretty much some traps. I don't... No, some locks. I don't really think there's anything in these. At all. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Now, thinking about it, it would have been more efficient of me to loot now, uh, later even, and do this in stages, because I only have limited inventory, as we all know. So, cutting it away all at once. Not to start at all. It's like something out of Roadrunner. But yeah, it's, it's a learning process. I don't think there's anything in here. No, there isn't. There's nothing in here, either. In fact, I do believe the only thing... Okay, there's a bit of gold there. Worth taking on this floor, apart from that bastard sword plus one, is a spear plus one, which I think could be up here. There's one that's locked. It's in the other one. I know! What's with that? And there's something here? Um... No, actually, I don't think I'll bother. So, we've already got a full inventory, pretty much. Because I haven't drunk my potions yet. And I think I'll have this. I think I'll save that for Mavar. Um, I'll need them. And we'll need this as well. So, let's drink that now. It should last for ten turns. That's... Six minutes? Ten minutes? Six minutes. It's quite a while. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go down here. I think. No, actually maybe we should go down this way. Maybe this way would be better. We're gonna get ambushed no matter where we go, but if we have the back to the wall it'd be easier, because they hide and then try and backstab you. That is not good. So let's And no, I won't use that yet. We'll just go in. See how it works. See what happens. This is not where I intended to be at all. Of course. Let's leave again. I didn't know you could get there. Right, we'll go down this way instead then. I thought that might be way. Yeah, never mind. Didn't realise that that led outside. Obviously, never been out that door before in my entire life. You learn something new every time you play the game. Uh, all right, let's Whatever go into this corner. Time. And then face the other way. Are you throwing stuff at me? No, they're not. Maybe they are. Maybe I should have used uh, protection. Oh, I didn't. Did I take my strength portion? Take the strength portion. Strength 21. I was going to say 22. Doesn't matter. So if they can't backstab us, we should be okay. I think I've been a bit over-eager on getting these, but we don't know. And yeah, you are firing stuff at me, so I will use protection from missiles for the next floor. Just ask. Ow. For now we're doing okay, though. Well, I'll just get them one at a time. I think there's going to be more of them, though, on this no floor. There we go. The shadow thieves and live. No one crosses the shadow thieves and live. Splat. 25 damage. 44 damage. Critical. Two hits and he was dead. You can throw your fancy kicks and stuff at me. 
you're still dead. No one Yeah, let's cast this down. Good spell. I like it. Didn't realize it was cast on target either. Thought it was just cast on uh, on self. Maybe I should just go downstairs now and loot later. I think that's probably a good idea. Maybe, I don't know. Well, we'll see what these guys have. That's a potion of fortitude. I might have thought now, actually. Increases my constitution to, yeah, to 18, 15 turns. No idea how long that is, but yeah. More hit points. Might as well come that down now. It's funny I don't even consider doing that when you were... Uh, well, at least when I play the game normally. I don't take the time to just have a character have that. That's a nice spell to have. I like that. That's another level 5 spell that I forgot about. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not going to search them actually. I'm going to go straight down. I'm, just, I'm worried that they might, if I rest or something, they might just disappear. So I thought I'd get all the gold and stuff now. Alright, we're saving it. And here we go. So much of the same. Big for death. And I'll make it big for death. I've shut that door, and so yeah, okay, quick. so they they're big just using missile death. weapons on me. And I'll Which I didn't expect. I thought they'd be all hiding and obvious you know, there we no go. There we go. The the big for death. And I'll make it quick. I didn't want him to hide. I don't want to get backstabbed, basically. Now a very good defense against backstab actually is this spell. They're hasting themselves, but that's fine. You go ahead and haste yourselves. There's another one in there. We're going to kill Garth as well. Whatever his name is, which kind of always feels a little bit mean. Oh, there's one behind me. There's backstab. There's the backstab. I don't know why I didn't cast this earlier. So am I. Now can we cast it? It's a bit late now, really. But there we go. That's a brilliant defense against backstab. It's not going to be any good if we uh, if they whittle them down. Did I kill him? I did. Okay. Backstab could, you know, kill us in one hit potentially. Well, maybe not. Maybe two. Didn't realize where there's many hit points as that. You can fire all the missiles you want at me. Carry on and keep doing that. Hello, is it Gorth? Gorch. Sorry. Because I don't have to kill him because it's not set on like AI script, so he's not just going to run in and kill him because he's uh, got a red circle around his feet. So I could spare him. If I felt like it. I will. I'll spare him. Is, you know, you, you get like 15 experience points for him or something, so it's pointless. Oh, hello. I saw you. Let me just... Oh, some magic stuff. What's this? Potion of insight. Drink it. <laughs> Drink it for no reason! What are our stats? Ridiculous! That's really nice. Look at that. Um, you know what the push him inside did though? Oh, there we go. Nothing. Oh well. Yeah, our stats are godlike. Which is great. Is he in here? I'm sure there was a bloody. Where are you? No one uh oh. The shadow thieves and lives. Just the one? You can always tell me they're out because they show up in the log. So if it was like Shadow Thief Taxiana, you know, times three, then there's three of them. But yeah, just this guy left and then we should be done for this floor as well. Made him go explodey, explodey, explodes. So. We're going to be casting this for this fight. We're going to be drinking that. We're going to be having some healing potions before we go down there. We're going to show Mavar what for. Did I get the gold from these guys? I've already forgotten. Yes, I did. 
I'm not going to pick up that uh, ring because it's worth three gold. Of oh, course, you're going to make me... Fine. Fine. I'll kill him. Because I can't save it. No, no. Kill him. It's a bit heartless. The game made me. The game made me, man. Oh, yeah, and there's letter of transfer. So, yeah, we're going to get all the fighting done first. And then we're going to loot. And probably have several trips back to uh, Reynolds' thing. Oh, I could have saved you. <laughs> okay. Have that. Really nice spell to have. This. And uh, what are we going to do? Let's be invisible mm. for a little bit. Like? How the hell are we invisible? We're a glowing ball of purple fire. See, your backstab, just bang. Might as well make the most of that, actually, but I'll get one of these guys. Go in this corner. Boom! Hello. I know. I've still those loyal to me, and they have warned me. Fight time. Right. This. And then we will try. Oh, we'll try uh, horror. Because they can't go very far in here. And hopefully, I should pretty much do them in. Pretty much, there's a uh, Mavar left. We shall duel him in Mortal Kombat with the small fact that I'm buffed to the hilt. And he's just a dude. Now, he is like a, a mage by default, but he has this armor on which stops him casting spells, so he's just some dude. Don't cast that, thank you. You already have, haven't you? Oh, you. I'm dominated, so I'm dead. Ah. Uh, well, we know who we're going to stab, backstab this time, don't we? Yes, we do. So, let's do all that again. I don't know what the point of this is, but it's nice. Probably better off. Um, learning it but there's time yet I don't have so many spell uh, spell slots no. all right no oh! okay whoops now I fake talked him as well so he's looking at me let's just redo that let's just redo that I didn't want to click on him I didn't want to click on him I have hidden myself well. right, now hopefully he's forgotten about me because I fake talked him Hi, he's dead. Okay, now. Yes. And by the time you've done your little spiel there, I've killed one of your guys and half cast a spell. Die then. This one. Here. Well, as I can make this go off, my spell's been interrupted. Try it again. Uh oh. Okay, if that hadn't gone off, I'd have been in trouble. The assassin made it that time. What I'm going to try and do, actually, is dominate Mava. No, it didn't work. I thought that if I dominated him, I might be able to access his spells, see what he's got that he can't cast. Oh well, we'll save him till last. Get this guy into, guy into a corner. Actually, let's slow them down. Because you're really annoying. I can't hit you when you're all running around like that. I still can't, even though they're slow. Oh well. My buffs! My beautiful buffs! Hit him! Come on, Ayana. Uh, don't run upstairs. Okay, it's one down. Loot him! There's Maybe I will leave him till last. Get you. They're all spread about, so when... Okay. You are a fool. I said I would fight you last. Hang on. Okay, now I fight you. Let's see if this works. Oh. 
didn't work. You are a fool. Oh no. Oh, let's just kill him. He doesn't stand a chance. He's dead. Sorry, Mava, you just weren't up to the cut. So hooray. Victory for us. Now this is Oracle, which is actually a very good spell. I like it a lot. It 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 uh gets rid of a load of um annoying illusions. So that's good in my book. What's this? Mind focusing? That is what we wanted. It's actually very nice armor. But no, oh, I can't use it because I'm possibly wearing this. Minus four. Nope, it's it's um it's this. But yeah, even so that's that's better. Um nice armor for thieves though. But offers the same protection as armor class uh braces of armor class three. So, apart from the looting, we are done here. We killed Mavar with authority. And yeah, we have so much loot to go and get. We've got all this stuff. I only have one, like, slot. I am hasted, though, so what I'm going to do... Where's all this ambient noise coming from? Everyone's dead. Just run over to this guy. Sell them to him. Have a look at my wares. I am. I trust you'll find oh, I am Ayanna. Satisfactory condition. I mean, I was looking at your wares. Sell all of this rubbish. And did I get any scrolls? No, I didn't use any either. But it's okay, because that was that all went pretty well. I would say that was a that was a success. Full engagement thing. So sell that, sell it, sell, sell. Could probably have identified some of that on my own actually thinking about it. I'll get rid of that as well because I'm, I'm not going to have any spells to memorize. Other than that, we're good. Okay, yeah. let's go back in. Like let's go up to this one. This is the best bit of the game when you get to loot all of the bodies of your fallen enemies. It's like, yay. Of course. Oh, wait, I didn't do the first floor. Even though I don't think there's all that much on the first floor. Yeah, Open this door now. There is a potion of strength. Potion? Spell of strength. Spell. Scroll. That's what I meant. A consumable, if you will. That is not an oil speed. That is poisonous. Well, it could be an oil speed, but I think it also might hurt you when you uh, drink it. Something. That's that. Let's head on up. Now in here. Whatever you desire. It's a pearl necklace. I like this. Obviously used for lock picking practice. I'll take that one. There might be something in this box as well. And this is basically good experience. You get 400 for each of them. I wouldn't be surprised if I leveled doing this. No! Oh, I thought because they're trapped as well, so these ones are anyway. Let's get rid of those before we do anything silly. Find them! These ones across the wall. Spoiler warning! Oh, no level. All these ones contain manis. Which we will take. And then the other ones contain treasures. And we like the treasures. This treasures is nice and shinies. Aina likes the shinies. She's distracted by shiny things. Now, I don't think I need this, honestly. Portion of Master Thievery. So I'm going to abstain from it. I'll just carry it around forever. Or them, because there's more than one. Do I have this? 
then I shall sell it along with learn that one. Yeah, we get potions along the top. Oh, we're not we are hasted still. Good. That potion of perception may be worth a bit. I didn't want that. I don't want that. Go away. And that does it for the loots. So that wasn't too bad, really. It's going to be worth a lot. I don't know. It gives us, like, bonuses to all of our thiefy stuff. Do I know what any of this is? I do! Uh, surprise me. I do know what this stuff is. So I needn't automatically assume... Oh, no, we're not hasted anymore. Damn it. That uh, I don't know what anything is. Cyan is becoming a woman of the world. She is learning stuff. Good for her, I say. sure whether I picked up any gems, but of course I did because got a bloody rogue stone, which is, you know, the best one. So we're up to 20 grand. We haven't even got the um, main reward off Renal yet. Or Renal, whatever his name is. The dude that I'm going to go and see now, who is in this door. Well, through this door. He's not in the door. It's not technically possible unless you're an unfortunate NPC in Oblivion or something. But anyway, I digress. Let's go and turn in the quest. Very well. Hello. The tale of your deed has already reached my ear. Such things tend to. Well done, I say. Your reward is well earned. And therefore we get our reward, which is reward, which is that much experience. And... Oh, he's going to offer us the Thieves Guild because we are a thief. Um, yeah, we're probably going to accept this, honestly. We need someone to fill a position, Maeve, you know, Mavar and, you know left and he knows that we're a bit of a thief and so he's like do you want to join the thieves guild and i'll be like yeah sure i might as well be a fighting mage thief and get all of the um fun that comes from that even though but the rate that i sort of play the game uh, i might not complete these um guild houses uh what's the word stronghold that's it stronghold do my best to turn it into a prosperous guild probably gonna do that in another video though um yeah if he wants profit but he's given me some thieves to work with, and I shall make the Shadow Thieves proud. We can ask about the um, Arenicus, but he doesn't really know a whole lot. I don't think, even though he's not the person we're supposed to be talking to. Although, we can look into it. Now, he didn't give us, which confuses me. Yes, I'm still here. The short sword of backstabbing, which is worth about three grand. I think it could be because of the Thieves Guild thing kicking in. It's not a big thing, because I was wondering about whether using it instead of this anyway, because this does give us the immunity to whole person. And it's a, you know, short sword backstabbing is a plus three. So it's nicer for backstabbing, obviously. But I don't think it's a weapon I would have used overly much. But even so. I'm kind of annoyed I didn't get it. Do we even get... Um yeah, we did get the 10,000 from him, though. So that's nice. I wonder why it didn't give us... Uh Probably because of the Thieves' Guild thing coming in. We might get it as part of the Thieves' Guild stronghold, which is now Ayana's Guild Hall. It says may have as as well, but it's actually mine. Um, but we'll do that in another video because I'm going to close this video up pretty soon. I only want to go and get my reward for all this. And we know what my reward is, don't we? 
Yes, we do. It is to acquire the robe of Vecna from Joaquin's Promenade. And then we're pretty much decked out now with, with everything we can get for, for the first portion of the game. And we can have like certain rings and Tell stuff. But and uh boots of, boots of haste would be quite nice. But apart from that, we're you know, we're pretty much sorted, honestly, for for, for equipment. Which is quite nice, you know, it's 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 uh it's taken a couple hours gameplay. Close to six, I believe. We got there in the end. Finally acquired the rubber Vecna, and of course I need the shield of Baldaron. And uh Another shield as well. Which I'll get soonish. But for now we shall concentrate on what we are doing. And that is not doing that because I want to cast yeah. Which I should have done earlier, I suppose, but this is probably gonna save me more money anyway. Not just that this. Be super popular. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. And acquire the robe of Vecna for a dirt cheap. Twenty one grand. I thought that was dirt cheap. Hooray! And that gives us I'm class five, doesn't do anything for us. Magic resistance, whatever. Improves casting speed by four. That's nice. That is nice. So, that's what we've got so far. And uh I think that we're doing okay. Honestly. I think we're doing alright. Gonna stop this video now. Next time. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do next time. We might just have to wait and see. So, for now, this is very exciting enough for Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 solo. It's been a good video and I've enjoyed it and I hope you have enjoyed watching it because it was good, 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 good fun to play. And I shall hopefully see you next week if this is interesting you. Thanks very much. Toodaloo.